Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode we will talk about choosing a dress for your capsule wardrobe. And as with all of my videos where I share my tips on how to choose clothes for your capsule wardrobe, the first thing that I want to mention, it's important to think about the weather and the material. Because based on the weather you will choose the material and think about the different seasons. If you creating a capsule wardrobe for winter, your dress will be probably made of a different material than a dress that you're choosing for summer. And if you live in Switzerland, you will probably look on different materials than if you live in Asia, where it's humid and warmer. So now I will guide you through my selection. I will show you the dresses that I have at home. And I will also explain why I'm keeping some and why I'm putting the others to the closet or why I will sell them. And today we will do it a bit differently. I will be looking on my computer and talking to you at the same time. So that will be an interesting experience. So let's get to that. We'll start with a first dress, which is from Sleeping Gypsy. It is a Ukrainian brand and I got in touch with them about five years ago and they, they sent me this dress. Uh, it was like an exchange, it wanted to be on my blog and also on my social media. And since then I keep wearing this dress occasionally because as you can see the print is really impressive it's it's a strong statement and not necessarily i can wear this dress on a daily basis but i love the dress it's made of linen and it's a one of a kind they don't do mass production and it's just an artwork this artwork comes with a price so it is not necessarily a cheap brand but that's how it is with a lot of the brands that i will show you today a lot of the dresses i mean they're not cheap because they are produced ethically and sustainably and they are made of materials which are sustainable. So then it is more difficult to make them cheap. It's actually not possible. So now we're getting to a second dress which is made by Pascal Cornu. I, it's a new dress that I got not so long ago and I was actually eyeing this dress for a year because Last year I bought a different dress from her collection, which you will see later. And I tried on this one and I wasn't so sure if this was my style or not, but I was thinking about it for a year. So this year I decided I will invest. And why I like Pascal Cornu? It's because she uses materials which are God's certified. And that means that, for example, this is a cotton and it is organic cotton, which is certified cotton and it's one of the best certifications that is currently on the market if you can say so another reason is that i really love her style and her cut it's very simplistic it's elegant it's chic it's feminine and there is no frivolity she's just looking for clean cuts and for durability so that's the main reason Next dress, which we will look at now, is actually by Mango. I bought it about four years ago. It is still in a good condition, but not a great one. I like to wear it, but this year I will give it away because it's made of um, polyester. And I really don't want to wear polyester because it's a material which is not sustainable. I already talked about it several times. But if you're here for the first time, when you wash polyester, a little micro particles, which are called microplastics, get released into the environment. And not only did it affect the water system, the water, the animals, but also us, for example, when we eat fish. So. I try to avoid wearing um, polyester as much as possible and this dress when I bought it four years ago I, I had no clue about polyester so as much as I like it and a lot of people say that it looks beautiful on me I will not keep it in my wardrobe this dress is by hmm, I don't remember now but I bought it last year it's made of cotton 
I chose it because of the color and the cut and I will keep it in my capsule wardrobe because it's practical, it's easy to wear, it, um, it's simply very feminine and um, I find it's flattering. So it's perfect for my, for my body type and for my, for my style, lifestyle, so I can wear it both to work but also on the weekends. So this one stays in my wardrobe. This is a dress by Jackpot. I'm not sure if this brand still exists. It was a Danish brand and this dress is at least nine years old. It's really, really old. It still looks perfect. It's made of cotton and as much as I like it and it's still, I can still wear it, it really suits me. It's, it's a classic uh, shift dress. I like to wear it to work, but I will not keep it in my capsule wardrobe for this spring and summer because it's a bit dark and I decided that this summer I will focus on wearing colors which are much more lighter and more, more uh, that will bring light to, to like lighten up my skin and, and my skin tone. And another reason is that since I'm also looking at colors based on the color palette which suit me, this is simply too dark, so I will not keep it in my capsule wardrobe and I just put it down in the basement. This is the second dress from Pascal Corno, the Swiss designer that I talked about earlier and this is a dress that I bought last year and I love the cut. It's a, it's a very simple dress, but you can here you can see the difference between really good designers and mass production because this dress is cut perfectly and it just looks elegant and chic and at the same time timeless you can wear it i can wear it even in 10 years when i'm 50 years old so that's a that's a thing that i look for besides the material ape signed is a brand that i like and it's a swiss sustainable and ethical fashion brand made in vietnam and this dress is made of silk it's hand painted and it's very comfortable but the color i find it's too cold for me so i will not get this dress this dress is made by a sustainable and ethical Swiss designer the brand is called avani they don't use cotton at all they use other materials such as linen, hemp, tensile and other materials. This dress is super comfortable. I think it's very flattering because a wrap dress just suits everyone, every woman, no matter what body type you have. I find wrap dresses are perfect. And um, I love this dress. I think the color is perfect as well. The only thing is and I mentioned it already once, I don't like my ties and um, I, just feel, I just feel a bit uh, like too naked in this dress as much as I love it. It's just my own like mental feeling that I, I never liked my legs and the only exception is in winter when I wear tights and over the knee boots because I find that then my and my um, legs look nicer and in summer I just don't like wearing shorts and short skirts or short dresses because I just don't feel comfortable so it's like my own personal feeling so as much as I like this dress I will not keep it this summer in my capsule wardrobe and if you're wondering where the hat is from this is another Swiss fashion um, designer we can say also a milliner and it's called her brand is called by Vanya Jocic and I wear only her um, her hats and I'm lucky enough that she gifted me her hat so all the hats that you'll see during this capsule wardrobe series are made by by Vanya Jocic you can check her website and she makes every hat herself by hand so and they're really amazing original and unique and timeless they last for a long time so here we are and here you can see the three dresses that I chose for this uh, summer and 
late spring 2020. As I mentioned before, what is important to keep in mind is where you live, what is the, the weather and the temperature that you can expect and based on that look for materials that are sustainable and that are appropriate to your location. If you think that I should have kept different dresses in my capsule wardrobe, let me know in the comments below. If you have other tips or questions about capsule wardrobe, also let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to find out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you next week and I have every week new video on Saturday. So don't forget to tune in. Bye!